Well, good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to another night of living room worship and my living room. So glad you're here. And tonight, as you can see, I don't have a microphone. Um, I don't have a little keyboard with me. Um, we're really just unplugged tonight. So uh, you'll hear uh, my guitar that's not plugged in and my voice that has no mic. Uh, so all I, I'm here with my guitar, my voice, and my camera. And that's about it. And my, and my uh, lyrics as well. So uh, uh, it's going to be a great night of worship. And I'm glad you came to worship with me tonight. Um, we're going to have, uh, let's see, probably about six songs tonight. And it's going to be a little shorter. We're not going to do any devotion or anything. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be great. Just a little unplugged night of worship. Um, and uh, just uh, want to be authentic and real and, and worship our king tonight. And uh, speaking of that, speaking of authenticity, uh, one of my favorite, uh, I guess, Christian bands right now is, uh, and has been for a little while, is Mercy Me. Uh, Marg and I have been able to go see them at Red Rocks here in Colorado. Um, so that's been really cool. And, and uh, we um, just, uh, we've gone to a couple of their, their concerts, but really just because of uh, my the reason I like them so much, I think, is really there because of their lead singer, Bart Millard, um, who you may have seen, I can only imagine the movie, um, and it uh, talks a little about his life, but he's just so real and um, just uh, so relatable, and the songs that he brings out, the songs that he writes are just that um, passionate, real, uh, have those passionate, real words um, of uh, just an authentic Christian who's not afraid to uh, just write and sing and say uh, what they think. And, uh, and this song is called Even If. Um, just some really cool, really, really amazing lyrics um, that just talk about trusting God, even, even if we don't know what in the world he's doing, even if we don't know, uh, un understand why uh, things are happening in our lives. And um, uh, it's been really just an awesome song in my life has gone through difficulty and difficult stuff and and so I hope that it can be in your life as well if you haven't heard it before um, but let's sing it together if you know Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Right now, right now I'm losing back. I sit on this stage night after night, reminding us the broken it'll be alright.
him because he's always with us even in our hardest uh, difficult uh, times in our lives psalm 46 is the next song we're going to sing if you have worshiped with me if, uh, if i led you in worship you've probably sung this before it's uh again one of my uh this is one of my favorite songs uh call also called lord of hosts but it comes directly from psalm 46 just talks about how our god is always with us how he fights for us uh, and we are not alone if we trust in him. So, let's sing together. Homecome beyond the works of God, the nations at his feet. Tells the wars to cease. Almighty one of Israel, you are on our side. We walk by faith in God who burns the chariots with fire. Move into 
the sea, the nations rage. I know my God is in control. Sing it again. The oceans roar, you are the Lord of all. The one who calms the wind and waves and makes my heart be still. The earth gives way, the mountains move. good good father tonight and actually um, I need to take this down one step so give me a second here uh, did the high high key which is not really what I want to do so my also my computer's going crazy refresh this all right we're gonna sing a uh, good good father tonight most of you know probably know this one as well um, and we're gonna sing it out so let, I'm just gonna start right into it Hey. 
my camera here real quick. There we go. Amen. Sovereign over us. If you can believe it, I learned this song on piano. A little bit did a little different key and a little easier chords, but um, one of my uh, uh, another one of my favorite songs. Uh, probably hear it now more than uh, you usually, or you probably hear it more nowadays than you would have um, eight years ago or so. Whenever this was uh, out, uh, written by Aaron Keys. But, uh, ah, it was uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman or Michael W. Smith. I can't remember. It redid it and sings it now. I think it's Stephen Curtis Chapman. There is strength. Let's sing it. There is strength within the sorrow. There is beauty in our tears. And you meet us in our mourning With a love that casts out fear You are working in our waiting Sanctifying us When beyond our understanding You're teaching us to trust Your plans are still to prosper You have not forgotten us You're with us in the fire and the flood You're faithful forever Perfect in love You are so wisdom unimagined who can understand your ways reigning high above the heavens reaching down in endless grace you're the lifter of the Lord Passionate and kind You surround and you uphold me And your promises are mighty light Your plans are still to 
God's sovereignty just means he's in control. He has a purpose and a plan. And even if we don't understand what we're going through, he knows the whole picture. He holds the world in his hands. Even what the enemy means for evil, even the evil we see in this world, God has the power to turn it for good. Let's sing it out. Even what the enemy means for evil, you turn it for our good. You turn it for our good, for your glory. Even in the valley, you are faithful. You're working for our good. You're working for our good, for your glory.
I'm sorry When I've just gone through the motions I'm sorry When I just sing another song Take me back to where we started Open up my heart to you I'm sorry when I've come with my agenda. I'm sorry when I forgot that you're enough. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. I'm caught up in your prison. I just want to sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this holy moment I never want to leave oh, I'm not here for blessings Jesus, you don't know sing one more song tonight um i've only done this once i kind of like this song but uh might be a little interesting since i've only done it once but um let's sing it out together
stick with the enemy means for evil And you turn it for good You turn it for good You take what the enemy means for evil And you turn it for good You turn it for good difficulty and evil and hardship and just uh, a life that you don't know how to get out of and you feel defeated um, you feel like you can't win but our God wants you to know that he is in control and even when the world comes crashing down around us even when we're in the deepest depths of despair, our God is there to bring us a victory and to pick us up and to let us know that it's okay because he's with us. He's a good, good father and he's a mighty warrior and he's victorious. And we may see that victory on earth, uh, but we do know that we have a hope and a victory through Christ as we'll experience in eternity. Um, that's all I have for tonight. I'm going to pray us out and uh, just thank you all for coming um, to another living room worship uh, with me. And uh, I'm glad you could be here. Hopefully sound wasn't too bad with just my camera kind of unplugged tonight. Um, but uh, we'll be back plugged in next week with uh, a microphone and and guitar so uh, maybe a few other things so let's pray and uh, let's give the rest of this uh, week to God God we give you um, we give you the rest of this evening the rest of this week uh, God may you uh, do amazing things through us uh, Lord I pray that we would become uh, victorious through you uh, that we would see victory through as it says in Revelation through uh, the blood of the lamb, the word of our testimony that we overcome. And Father, we know that we over have uh, an overcomer, a warrior, a, vic a victorious God uh, who fights for us um, every single day. And God, we know that even when we're in situations that we can't control, uh, God, even when we are, like I said before, in the depths of our despair, God, you are with us. If we choose to see it, we will know that you are there. God, you pick us up, and God, you carry us through. And so I pray, Father, as we um, go out tonight, um, Lord, that we would see, uh, Lord, your victorious love that penetrates uh, our lives. And may we go out and be your love this week and uh, just show others who you are, and share with others what you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great evening and a great rest of your week. Uh, again, uh, as always, we're going to have service on Sunday. Um, and uh, 
do uh, attend the service. Uh, we're gonna have kind of a, a normal service, actually gonna be a little shorter, about an hour. And after that service, uh, we're gonna have, uh, Aaron's gonna be talking about a little bit of what we're, um, not super specific right now, because we don't have any, um, uh, we're still, we don't have the, uh, we don't have any more uh, orders from the government yet, uh, currently. So we're not super specific on when we're gonna open up back, the uh, open up the church, but, uh, we will go into um, a little bit what that's going to look like when we do. So uh, go ahead and check that out. We're going we're to be on uh, Facebook, YouTube, 8 o'clock, 8 a.m., 10, 10, 10 a.m. Um, you can check that out. So I will see you Sunday. Have a great rest of your week.